I'm going to walk you through this activity here. So we're going to do this together because we've done this before many times, but it's been a while, so we should practice this um, together so you understand. Um, just some reminders and some notes. You took a test last Friday. That test grade will be used for term three. So if you've been going to class, you've been doing your work, you've been practicing, uh, the practice test was exactly like the real test, and the activities you did in class were to help you on the practice test and the real test. So that grade will be used. Um, if you're skipping class, then what's probably going to happen is you miss something in class, you don't understand it, because you missed class, now you're going to do worse on the test, and now your grade is going to suffer. So understand your responsibilities, and your responsibility is to be in class. Uh, and to be in class means you're going to be successful in my class. And if you skip class now, I can tell you, you increase your chance of seeing me again next year, because you will probably be in my class again next year, uh, if you don't pass my class. Um, let's go ahead and do this activity together. Uh, we have practice calculations for physics. Uh, the goal here is for you to do these calculations uh, on your own independently on an exam. We will do this together today. And then tomorrow I'll give you another activity where you can try to do more calculations on your own. Okay. And then on Thursday you'll have a practice test. And then on Friday you'll have a real test, which is very similar to the activities you're doing today and tomorrow. Okay, so the first thing I need you to do is identify the, the formulas that you're working with. Here we have speed, distance, and time. So this is a speed uh, or a velocity uh, equation. Velocity. Um, here we have acceleration, velocity, and time. So if we're looking at those three things, so we did this, so that's done. Um, this one here, acceleration, velocity, and time, that's the acceleration equation, acceleration. All right, here we have force, mass, and acceleration. This is the equation we use to calculate force. So you should be doing this on paper, uh, not on the computer. I want you doing this on paper so you can take it home to study. Here we have weight, mass, and gravity. And this is actually, we're gonna call this the weight or force of gravity. Okay, weight or force of gravity. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so it fits on one line. Okay. Okay, weight or force of gravity. So that's this. Okay, next. So if you want to calculate weight or force of gravity, use this. If you want to calculate force, use this. Acceleration, this. Speed or velocity, this. Okay, let's go to number five. So here we have momentum, which is P, mass, and velocity. So here, uh, this is to calculate momentum. Uh, here we have work, force, and distance. This is the work equation, so that's for work. Here we have power, work, and time. So this is actually the power equation. Here we have wave velocity, frequency, wavelength. This is the wave velocity equation. Here we have frequency and period. So this is the frequency um, equation. You could also call it the period equation. So frequency or period. Let me get rid of some of these. So it fits on one line. And number 10, this is kinetic energy. So it's kinetic energy, mass, and velocity. This is kinetic energy. And 11, this is the equation or the formula for potential energy. Okay, and those are the different equations that you're gonna use. Okay, you can pause the video now so you can write it down, uh, but I'm gonna go to the next section, okay. So here what you have to do is identify what you need to calculate. So how much work did the student complete? Oh, well, I need to calculate work. work. Determine the force applied to the box. Oh, I need to calculate force. Call from Ellen Mongo. 
Okay, so now here, what was the final velocity of the plane? So I need to calculate here final velocity. Okay, determine the maximum potential energy of the box. Okay, here I need to calculate potential energy. So potential energy. What is the kinetic energy of the car? So here I need to calculate kinetic, kinetic energy. How far did the student travel? So far means distance, okay, distance. All right, what is the final temperature? So here I need to calculate final temperature. All right, calculate the acceleration. Okay, I need to calculate acceleration here. Okay, determine the amount of work completed. Here I need to calculate work. How much power was accomplished? Okay, here I need to calculate power. What is the final momentum of object X? So here I need to calculate momentum. Okay. And for this one here, how much energy is required to lift the box? So here I need to calculate energy. That would actually be a difficult calculation to do. Okay, you can pause it here if you need to finish writing these down. And now I'm gonna go ahead to the next one, 24 through 35, perfect. Determine the force of gravity on the planet Mars. So force of gravity. What is the change in height uh, of the uh, needed to have a potential energy of 30 joules? Determine the frequency, right? of the wave, calculate the height of the object with the most potential energy, what is the momentum before the collision, uh, let's see, let's see what is the initial temperature, All right, determine the wave velocity, Calculate the frequency. Determine the period of the wave. So this should be automatic. At this point, you should be able to read it and then understand exactly what you need to calculate because you recognize the vocabulary that we studied. Uh, what is the kinetic energy of the cart as it rolls down the hill? Determine the work. Completed by the student, determine the power. Sorry, I'm not sure. Is that Alexa computer off? Okay, it's Siri talking to me. Okay, 35. Now 36. This is where we do some calculations, okay? Uh, I'm going to do up to this part, and then I'm going to ask you to calculate. So um, a mass of four kilograms and has a velocity of, well, let me just do it this way. So V mass, little m equals, little v equals uh, two meters per second. Okay, what do we need to calculate? It says here, determine the momentum, momentum. Momentum is represented by P. And the equation for momentum, I'm gonna come up here, where is momentum? Here, momentum P equals mass times velocity. So mass times velocity. So I want you to use your numbers here and calculate. Okay, next, a mass, hold on love bug, hold on equals 10 kilograms, okay, velocity equals five meters per second. Okay, what do we need to calculate? Momentum again, and momentum is P, okay? And it's the same as before, momentum equals mass times velocity. So you just multiply those two 
to get your number. Okay, 38. Okay, you have a two kilogram mass, this is 38, a two kilogram mass uh, equals, mass equals two kilograms, okay, and it has a momentum, so now it gives you momentum is 20 kilogram meters per second. Determine the velocity. V velocity equals, okay, so now let's go. We're going to use the momentum equation. Momentum, mass, and velocity. Momentum, mass, velocity. So I'm going to go up. Where do I have momentum? Momentum, mass, and velocity. Okay, it told me to calculate velocity. If I want velocity, I need to do momentum divided by mass. So let's go down here. I'm going to do momentum divided by um, divided by mass. Okay, so momentum divided by mass. Okay, that's how I get um, my velocity. Okay, so do that calculation yourself. Thirty nine. Okay, we have mass equals two kilograms. Okay, momentum P uh, equals 100 kilogram meters per second. It says calculate velocity. Yeah, she's crying a little bit. Um, she's okay though. And then, so I want to do P divided by M, because it's the same as this problem here. They give me mass, they give me momentum, and it says determine velocity, okay? So I just have to take momentum divided by mass. This here means, this means division, divided by, DVD, if you speak Spanish. Okay, 40, you have a mass equals, um, excuse me, a mass has a momentum of 160 uh, kilogram uh, meters per second and a velocity of four meters per second. And it says, what do we need to calculate? Well, it says here, determine the mass. So I want mass, mass. And I have momentum. Velocity and mass. Okay, momentum, velocity, and mass. Momentum, velocity, and mass. And I need to calculate the mass. If I want to calculate the mass, I will do momentum divided by velocity. Momentum divided by velocity. Okay, so just calculate that on your own. You have the numbers, you have the equation. Okay, now how many more do we have? We do not have a lot. This is not too bad. Okay, so mass has a momentum of, so P equals, okay, 75, should not be capital, P equals uh, 75 uh, kilogram meters per second, the velocity equals uh, 25 meters per second, and here it says determine the mass. Oh, okay, I'm going to calculate mass again using momentum and velocity, it's the same uh, equation as here, momentum divided by velocity. That's how I calculate, okay? Now let's go to 42. Okay, it says a force of 55 newtons, so force equals 55 newtons, um, is used to push a mass of five kilograms. Okay, what do we need to calculate? We need to calculate acceleration. It says here, determine the acceleration. So equals, okay, let's go figure out. We have force, we have mass, we have acceleration. We have up here force, mass, and acceleration. We're gonna use the force equation here. Force, mass, acceleration. It asks me to calculate acceleration. So if I want acceleration, I do force divided by mass. Force, force divided by mass. You have the force, you have the mass, you can divide the two together. 
Okay, 43. A student lifts an object with a weight of 20 newtons. So the weight, um, let's call it weight, is 20 newtons. Newtons, that's interesting. That means it's a force of some type. The height uh, equals 4 meters. It says determine the work. Determine the work. Okay. So I have the work. How do I calculate work? Let me go up here. Work, 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 work. All right, work. I have work here. Work is equal to work. If I cover that up, is equal to force times distance. So 43, number 43, work is equal to force times distance. Okay. Um, the force here is actually the weight. The weight, another name for weight is force of gravity. Okay, so force of gravity is weight. Um, so that would mean that it's just 20 newtons. And then uh, it says distance. Now a height is a type of distance just going vertically. All right, so 20 newtons multiplied by four meters. Okay, and then just tell me what you calculate there. 44, an object has a mass of, mass is always a small m, not a big m. Mass is equal to three kilograms. Um, determine, that's all the information we have. Now we need to determine the force of gravity. So let's go up top. How do we calculate force of gravity? Let's go up, up, up. Force of gravity, where are you? Number four is the force of gravity. Weight and force of gravity are the same. Uh, force of gravity is mass multiplied by gravity. So we have, let's go here, equals mass multiplied by gravity. And gravity is actually always... So I'm going to put this here. Gravity is equal to gravity is equal to 10 meters per second squared. And I know some students, I think like Jose is going to say, whoa, 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 9.8, Dr. Gomez, 9.8. But here we're going to use uh, 10 just because it's easier to remember. So uh, our force of gravity is 3 kilograms multiplied by 10 um, meters per second squared. Okay. And again, I want to say thank you to all the students who are following along and completing this. I really appreciate your work. Uh, and please don't forget that this will be on your exam or your test on Friday. All right. And for anyone who's really interested in passing the MCAS this year, this calculation or type of calculation is very, very, very important. Now, please don't forget for all of these to finish your calculations. All right. Let's go to 45. We don't have a lot left, just a, a few uh, questions left. Let me just clean this up a little bit. Okay. All right, 45. Determine the acceleration of an object with a force of 12 newtons. So my force equals 12 newtons. Uh, my mass equals 2 kilograms. Uh, so it says determine the acceleration. Okay. Um, so acceleration, I have acceleration, force, and mass. Acceleration, force, and mass. So what equation do I use? Acceleration, acceleration, force, and mass. I'm going to calculate acceleration, force, and mass. I'm going to use this equation. Now, if I want to calculate acceleration, I do force divided by mass. It's force by mass. Okay, so I'm just going to put that here and calculate acceleration. Almost done. Look at this. I think we have like five more and then you're going to do a quizzes. Okay, 46. What is the distance of an object traveling four meters per second for two uh, seconds? How far did it travel? What is the distance it traveled? So the velocity uh, is equal to four uh, meters per second. The Time is equal to two seconds, and it says distance. We need to calculate distance. So what is the distance? Um, distance, velocity, and time. Let's see. Distance, speed, and time. Speed and velocity. Speed, velocity. We're going to look at them very similarly, uh, but here we want to calculate the, the velocity. So 
Uh, we're, to calculate velocity, which is S, speed and velocity, we do distance uh, divided by time. So let's go here. Oh, actually, we want to calculate distance. So let's go back up. Distance. Distance equals speed times time. So we need to multiply speed and time. Okay, so we're going to do uh, velocity or speed times time. All right, so you're going to multiply those two together. Next, determine the force of gravity for an object with a mass of 15 uh, kilograms. So we already did a question very similar to this. All right. And the force of gravity is equal to mass times gravity. All right, so go up. And if you need help, look at number 44. So for this one, for 47, look at number 44. What is gravity? All right, you should remember that. We just did that in 44. All right, 48, determine the potential energy. If you have a mass of three kilograms, a height, of five meters and we need to calculate potential energy okay let's see how do we calculate potential energy let's go up top potential energy here potential energy is equal to mass multiplied by gravity multiplied by height equals mass multiplied by gravity multiplied by height, okay? And don't forget, gravity is equal to what, okay? And it's equal to 10 uh, meters per second uh, squared, okay? So use that here, but you also actually should have used that. You should have used that in number 47 as well. Okay, so let's go 49 and 50, and then we'll do the quizzes. Okay. Um, determine the kinetic energy of an object with a mass of 2 kilograms and a velocity of 2 meters per second. So the mass is 2 kilograms. The velocity is 2 meters per second. It says determine kinetic energy. Uh, energy, okay, kinetic energy, mass, velocity. So let's go up. How do I calculate kinetic energy? This does not sound easy, but, oh, wait, look, we have the equation. It's not too bad. Fear not. Don't, don't go crazy on this. Doesn't look, it looks crazy, but it's not too bad. If we want kinetic energy, we multiply one half times mass times velocity squared. And it looks a little bit complicated, but once you figure out to do this, how to do this, you're going to be very proud of yourself. So we have to do one half multiplied by mass multiplied by velocity uh, squared, right? And another way to do this, so another way to do this equals, this is how you put it into the calculator. You do 0 0.5 multiply by the mass, which is 2 multiply by the velocity, which is two, and then you multiply by the velocity again. So there's two velocities here, okay? And that's how you calculate. And let's go back here and it says number 50, the last one, let's start clapping. Hooray, 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 the last one. Okay, so we have mass equals 15 kilograms, we need to calculate weight. Weight is also the force of gravity. As you can tell, Dr. Gomez is very tired. Babies don't sleep, so that means mommies and daddies, mothers and fathers don't sleep. Weight, force of gravity. All right, so force of gravity, if we go up, 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 force of gravity, where are you? or weight. Ah, force of gravity or weight is equal to mass multiplied by gravity. Okay, let's go down here to the last one. Mass multiplied by gravity. And we've done this, use gravity maybe 
three or four times already, so you should know what that number is. And that's it. So use this guide to complete this activity. And then when you're finished, I want you to um, give it to Miss Jaffe. Uh, she'll look at it to make sure that you completed it. Um, and then she will return it the next day so that you can use that for your uh, test to practice. Thanks.